let me load up the last game I had here, the start here slot, as usual. Um, I, I remember going in a circle, basically, last time I was here. <laughs> Leaving here and then coming back and turning out that I needed to come back here for some reason. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was interesting still. What exactly am I doing? I believe I was going to take a trip up to up to the next part, uh, to just another town here. Wait, solve the problem? Oh, that's right, I need higher stats in order to solve some of these problems. Anyway, so let's go, let's go maybe get some higher stats, I don't know. There are a couple of other towns I haven't fitted, uh, visited yet. Harrelson, Salt Lake City are the two big ones that I'm thinking of. And I think there's one right in the middle here that I haven't actually hit up yet. Uh, so let's just go, let's just make a trip here. Uh, maybe not that one. <laughs> it's not going to work at all. <laughs> that is not going to work at all. And actually, I should probably set up a quick save. And try this again. Oh my lord, seriously, the same encounter? One, one hit kill. All right. Uh, Nomads of the Great Basin. Hmm. What do these guys say? Gives you a blank look. Just traveling or running from someone? Hmm. Uh, I'd like to buy provisions. Could you trade some? I want those. Pfft, that sucks. I wonder what people like you are doing in these uninhabited lands. Uh, we wander from the from valley to valley in search of a suitable place to live. We originate from the northeast. There was a series of war conflicts. So many fled from there. You will surely meet other nomads like us. I'm on the road for a while already. Tell me, where is the nearest town? Salt Lake is in the north. Go along the highway and you'll walk straight into the city near a large lake. All right, cool. Same thing for everybody else? Yep, all right. I guess I could go and buy provisions from everybody to see what they have, or I could just go steal from them. Faster. They don't really have much, it looks like. The guy has shotgun cells, but I don't have a shotgun, and even if I did, my skills suck for it right now. Anyway, oh, they're fine with me stealing the powder? Really? Okay. Even if I get caught, they're like, oh, okay, cool. It's fine. I understand. It's the wasteland. You gotta steal everything if you want to get anything. <laughs> that was silly. Oh, well, whatever. Um, oh, wait, here's another one of those buildings. Okay. Nope. Uh, another healing powder. Uh, healing powder's worth something, I guess. In emergencies. Jesus Christ! <laughs> another Bloom Brother. <laughs> Alright, seriously, is that is that an automatic encounter right here? I swear, it really feels like it. Salt Lake City. Oh! What the hell? You encounter you encounter a crazy Mr. Handy? And we're in combat mode already. Is there anything else around here, like, worth checking out? Probably not. It's one of the basic maps. Hmm. You see the robot servant, uh, you see the robot servant of Mr. Handy series. Probably. This one has lost its owners many years ago. Oh my god, that's the description. It was translated from Russian. <laughs> um, Alright, let's do the sensors. Inflicting sensor. Sensor hit, sensor hit. Okay, cool. We get a couple turns. Uh, crippled limbs. Now he's crippled. Alright, cool. So if I go and use... If I run up to him and use the repair skill... Like, like this. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> you failed to do any tea healing. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, can I talk to him? I can't actually talk to him. He's just a crazy one. Can I fix him at all? You heal seven hit points. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, what about to use a doctor skill on him? Oh, you can actually use the doctor skill on him? At 0%, of course, nothing will happen, but... <laughs> that is funny. Okay, well, whatever. Um, science. Let's use the science him for 12%. Oh, well, that's not going to do anything, of course. I think it's just a regular old crazy Mr. Handy, which is too bad. Let's break his legs. 
No. No, no one can interrupt, or interrupt the moaning dog walk. You should pay a fine. <laughs> All right, whatever. Let's get out of here. Let's go back to Lock, Salt Lake City. We'll let that crazy robot just uh, hang out for a little bit. Two weeks from Reading and a difficult path. Okay, you enter a gloomy and unha unhappy looking town. It smells of damp and rotting foliage. Saving. There's a bunch of stuff around here. Uh, but there's like a bunch of quests around here. This is, the, I think this is, this and the, and Las Vegas are the two, and New Reno, of course, are the three big, uh, quest lines, quest, uh, locations on this world map. And we finally found the, the Camel Club? I don't know. Cafe Club. Neon Advertising Console of the cafe club it must just it must still be in russian i guess <laughs> because it doesn't look like the word cafe but all right i can see the word club though that's for sure all right who we got to talk to here on our boss he makes all the decisions who do you, who do you need okay Vegas sure as hell will become the new capital of america apparently what do you need? Don't you see I'm busy? Find our boss. Same thing. That must be the boss. Let's talk to this guy, though. Hello, our valued customer. What? Not yet. Well, you will be. It's only a matter of time. Now, what can Sentanza of the... Sentinza of the Nevada Express help you with? What the hell? Okay. Sentinza. Um, start asking him questions. Where do you get your stagecoach? The Nevada Express maintains the Wasteland's only fleet of functional intercity buses. Our talented engineers maintain them rigorously both here in Salt Lake and at our main depot in Las Vegas. I didn't think there were any functional vehicles left. I don't blame you. The Nevada Express may have the last working buses in the world. Some people will tell you a technician in Wind of War is fixing up an old pickup truck, but shouldn't take them seriously. If you had anything, we'd already know. Let's see. Thank you. Um, when's the next haul? The next sets out in eight days. We leave on the 1st, 11th, and 21st day of each month. All right, uh, another question. What is today? <laughs> need to get somewhere. We get you where you need to go. If our caravans don't go somewhere, then you have nothing to do there. And you drop me at New Reno, Las Vegas, Cheyenne, Black Rock, Gerlock. Oh, okay. Gerlock. Ah, oh, they're making a name for themselves. It won't take us far out of our way. It'll just cost you $820. Nope. Um, let's see. Black Rock. Uh, Black Rock, I've heard of it. Well, we pass close by there, so we take a detour. Uh, that'll be that'll be eight hundred dollars. Okay, eight hundred instead of eight hundred twenty. Um, let's try Cheyenne. Oh, really? Why would you? Well, you're the value customer. Here's that'll just be eight hundred sixty dollars. It's not a big range of money in in take change in ticket prices. Uh, Las Vegas. Going to make your fortune in a local casino? I'll keep my fingers crossed for our value customer. That'll just be a thousand dollars for the ticket. What the hell? Why is it a thousand dollars? Jesus, can you drop me a new Reno? Go to the big city and just make sure you've got your gun loaded. We wouldn't want anything to happen to our value customer. Speaking of which, that'll be a thousand dollars for a ticket. All right, I'll be back later. Uh, but why are why are the ones that are on your main you know your your main caravan route more expensive than the ones that are off? That doesn't make any sense. Um, I think, I think maybe their formula that they have input in their, in their, uh, thingamajig is, uh, upside down, but we'll see. Let me go ahead and lockpick this for now. A safe has a mechanical lock consisting of five tumblers, each opened with its own number. You can try and guess the code, but that will take some time. And of course, it'll take some time, but it's not too difficult. And I have yet to see where the code is actually given for these. But one... And our fourth and fifth ones are both zero. There we go. You've cracked the code, you turn the handle, the door swings open. Woohoo! Done. 500 experience points and a personal safe to store your gear in. Not that there's really any reason to put shit in here because you can't get to it easily. It's not like it's transferable between towns. As far as I've been able to tell, you won't see anything over here, do you? That would have been cool if it was transferable between towns. Otherwise, who cares? Every item, every object in this place is a place to store my stuff in if I wanted to. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. They, that's a neat idea, but they forgot to put anything in that would actually make it a useful idea. 
BYU football. Pre-war poster calling in the football Olympics at the stadium in Provo. Huh. Is this is this for real? Is that what this this sucker is right here? This poster? Provo. That sounds like uh that sounds like someplace in Russia. I don't know. Oh, a client. How can I help? Tell me, how is it out there in the wasteland? Oh, it is harsh. Uh, we are forced to travel in the pre-war highways because it's faster and more comfortable than to walk through the desert, but the raiders know about this. That's why, when we're approaching gas stations and small settlements, we're always on alert. Between which cities do you trade? I trade between Las Vegas and Salt Lake. What settlements have you seen on your travels? This is pretty boring trading route. Uh, when approaching Salt Lake, you have to be careful because of the acid geckos, but in comparison with other, route, with other routes, it's the safest one. The main problem is, perhaps, the slavers, but raiders are seen very rarely. But very rarely we see raiders. Another question. Where are you heading? See this badge? Next time, just read it more carefully. We are heading to Las Vegas to trade. In Vegas, it's, uh, in Vegas is still left some good equipment and the water is clean there, and salt has... Salt has less food problems and what? Hold on, of course, cola. In Vegas, he still left some good equipment and the water is clean there. And salt has less food problems and of course, cola. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> this one needs some work. Right, but I would like to ask something about the city. Salt Lake, dirty city, yet there is much more peaceful population than in your, oh my God. <laughs> Is there a place, is there any place here where you can go to relax? First, have a look at the Tin Angel. It's always fun there. Very nice place. There's also a hotel where you can rest and even a trading hall across the street. There are two merchants there. One sells guns and the other, well, all kinds of junk. What makes the city work anyway? Well, the most important thing is a Nuka-Cola factory. If you want to start your own business to sell this stuff in the wasteland, they go, they go straight in there. Uh, okay, that's a little... It's to the east from the center, but in general, there's not much to do around, not many options. Uh, and yes, also, Vocus nuts grow... Vocus? Vocus? Vocus. Vocus nuts grow here, even nutrient. Very nutrient. Okay. Nutritious. There are a whole plantation just outside the city. Oh my god, this is awful. This is an awful one, too. And what is the social si What? And what is the social situation in the city? Whatever that means. They have a sheriff's office. The way I see it, they managed to keep the scum away. At least it's a lot safer here than in Reno. Uh, right, that would be all. That's all? That's all I can actually ask him? Okay. Do you know anything about a place called Provo? Oh, Provo is actually a place in the city? Okay, I thought it would be something else. I do. If I didn't, I'd be dead a long time ago. Because this district lays, lays lies, lays right in the on the trading route. All kinds of scum live there. People that have been lit kicked out by the sheriff. Dangerous bunch. Stay away from that region. All right. Um, got it. Okay. Heading. Uh, do bikers ever come around here? Perhaps you've seen them. Well, they do come here, but rarely. Never staying for long. Hang out at the bar. Beat someone up and leave in the morning. Okay. They hang out at the bar. Beat someone up and and then and then leave at the and then leave in the morning. It's easier to meet them in the on the caravan routes. They like to race on their loud piles of metal there. Really impressive sights, by the way. Do you know if they have some regular place to camp? Where can they always be found if needed to? I don't know. Perhaps someone else knows. Someone who uses other trading routes. Another question then. All right, hold on. Um, and let's see, was there one other question? Let's go back a little. Okay. Ask something about the city. No, get back a little. Wasteland. What kind of raiders are bothering you, are you on the way? Well, first, in Provo region, the raids and ambushes on caravans become more frequent. Became more frequent? They see all kinds of criminals from Salt Lake City gather there. Also, you might meet some crazy locals that forgot how to live peacefully. Well, watch out for them, too. More? Another tough gang is making raids between Vegas and Salt Lake City, around the spot where the road turns to the west. The Bloom Brothers are running the gang. There is not many of them, but they are real killers. Very well armed and very experienced. Nobody really knows where they came from. 
Rumors say it's the ex-soldiers from Wind of War that took Path of Robbing and Raiding. Okay. Must be them, otherwise it's impossible to explain their top-notch equipment and an excellent understanding of how to fight. Between which cities do you trade? I trade between Las Vegas and Salt Lake. What settlements have you seen on your travels? This is pretty bro This is a pretty boring trade route. When approaching Salt Lake, you have to be careful because of the acid geckos. But in comparison with other routes, it's the safest one. The main problem is perhaps the slavers, but uh, raiders are seen very rarely. Okay, another question. Uh, that's it. Oh, yep, that's uh, that's everything I, I already have talked to him about. Uh, I think this guy has the same dialogue. Well, well, okay. Ask your stupid question already. Okay. I see something about the city. Where are you heading? See this badge? Next time, just read it more carefully. We're heading to New Reno to trade with local dealers, and then we'll hang out at the El Dorado at at El Dorado. Hell yeah. Uh, ask you something about the city. Okay, so this guy needs some work too. Salt Lake, dirty city. Yeah, there's much more peaceful. Oh my god, population than in New Reno. At least here you cannot be afraid of a knife in the back and you can make a fine trade. Hold on, hold on. All right, I guess you something about the city. Do bikers ever come here? All right, nope, that's it. Okay, yeah, same dialogue. All right. I think that's all the dialogue lines I'm going to worry about for that one right now. Let's give this guy a talking to. Huh? I don't have time to chat. I still have to run all over the town before I can leave. You need some help? I can help you? It would be great. Okay, I got a whole list of things I need to get before we hit the road. If you find them, I'll pay you a hundred bucks. Deal? Deal. Give me the list and I'll scan it with my pit boy. Great. Here. Try to get it done as quickly as possible. My caravan stays here just for another three days before moving out. If you're late, then uh, we just leave and all your efforts will be for nothing. All right, well, let's find this guy. Uh, so three days collect things. I'll try to remember. All right, cool. Three days? What? Okay, well, they're in my pit boys. Let's take a look what the heck we got. Where's Salt Lake City? Huh, that's a Salt Lake City quest. I think... Warehouse assignment item list. Here we go. Sledgehammer, gecko pelt, shovel, first aid kit, flare, three flares, rope, empty flask, two empty flasks, uh, metal scrap, rubber boots, wrench, and weapon parts. It is, necessary to bring, it, it is necessary to hurry to collect these parts because in three days a caravan will depart. Okay. All right. Let's give up on translation for a little bit. Let's find a sledgehammer, a gecko pelt, a shovel. I should have a shovel or two. First aid kit, I might even have one of those. Flare, three flares. I think I should probably have that. I might have a rope. Don't know if I have two empty flasks. I might have a metal scrap. Probably have some rubber boots. I uh, do have a wrench. And I don't know about weapon parts. Let's see what we got. I got a rope. Uh, I got a med kit. I got five flares. I got enough empty. I have a, well. They're, I don't know if they're empty or full, but they should count. I think. Maybe because that, that might be a full one. I'm not really sure. There's a pair of rubber boots that I haven't really used yet. There's wrench. Okay, what am I missing here? I'm also, only four items left to find. Okay, cool. Okay, but remember, we're going soon. If you don't finish the in time, blame only yourself. All right. You have only yourself to blame. Sledgehammer, gecko pelt, weapon parts. Do I have a shovel? I do have a shovel. That's better than nothing, so... Okay, so uh, four items left. Sledgehammer, we'll, we'll get the ones that I know are missing here. If I can. Stay away from there. Okay, well, let's start talking to people here. Don't bother Robert, please. He's yet to cut fruit for dinner because of that stupid puzzle of his. The boy is thinking hard about something and does not pay attention to you. Hey, what are you doing? The boy never say pulls his shoulder and does not pay attention to you. Pulls his shoulder. Hmm. Listen here, you little shit. Disrespecting the adults, I'll beat your ass. Hey, I'm sorry. I got lost in thought. I have a puzzle that makes my brain boil. 
<laughs> okay, seriously? Maybe I'll open your skull and take a look. Mumble something. How smart. <laughs> Disrespecting your dulcet little brat. Shut your mouth. Don't, t don't yell at me. You started it, okay? And you're in my house, so bye bye Points at the door. Ah, <laughs> oh, you little smart ass shit. Where in the post block of the world do smart little shitholes, smart little assholes like you come from? <laughs> Can I talk to him again? Don't bother me. All right. <laughs> How about the dad right here? What's he say? Don't bother me too. Okay. And I can't, I can't loot from his stuff. What? Is there anything back here? I can see what's in their sink. Fruit. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's reload that real quick. Get some actual dialogue with him. Hey, what are you doing? Shaking by the shoulder. Hello, young man. Do you hear me? Hi, I'm sorry I got lost in thought. I have a puzzle that makes my brain boil. Tell me about this puzzle. You want to solve it too? No, no, dummy, I want to prove that I'm cooler than some little shit. <laughs> All right, whatever. Um, that, of course, puts it to the neg on the negative path, so let's give it a another reload. Tell me about this puzzle. Yeah, tell me about the puzzle. Well, all right, listen. A caravan treater passed through three cities. In the first, he was charged a quarter of the value of his goods for renting the parking lot. In the second city, he was charged a quarter of what was left in him. In the third city, he had a quarter of the rest. When he got home, he only had 1728 bucks, but he couldn't sell anything. So how much did he have at the beginning? Oh, that sucks. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this is very easy. I can answer right now. Stupid puzzle. Don't they teach you to count? I can see that. Uh, do you do you even know how to walk? <laughs> okay. I knew it. You can't do it. <laughs> it went back to the negative thing. All right. Um, this shouldn't be too terribly difficult to, to do. All right. So hold on. What do we got here? Charged a quarter of the value for renting from the first parking lot. And a... And a quarter of the value for renting from the second parking lot and he only had 1728 when he got back so uh x times 0.75 times 0.75 equals 1728 so or times three quarters three over four three over four uh, so we multiply this side by four, right? Invert and multiply. Divide by three quarter on both sides. Times four. Times three. Three. No, you don't have to do it twice. Yeah, you do. Oh, that should be it. Okay. So it should just be 1728 times 16 over nine. So 3072. Okay. So it should be 3072. I don't have that option here. Hmm. Did you say anything else? Caravan trader passed through three cities. In the first, he was charged a quarter of the value of his goods for renting the parking lot. In the second city, he was also charged a quarter of value what was left. In the third city, a quarter of the rest. Oh, I'm sorry. There is a third one. All right. 1728 times 4 times 4 times 4 divided by 3 divided by 3 divided by 3. 4096. Uh, there it is, right up here. 4096. Seems he doesn't believe you. What? No, this is not right. It must be 3,375. Science 30. How, hmm, how do you know? I don't have a science 30. I have science of zero. Well, that's what I thought. A quarter equals 0.25, right? So you have to multiply the sum by a quarter and add the remainder. Then you add this. Then you get the second number. That two is multiplied by a quarter and then add it again. That makes 3,375. Isn't that right? Hold on. You have to multiply the sum by a quarter and add the remainder and you get the second number that two is multiplied by a quarter then add it again oh i don't know what he's doing that doesn't not the slightest idea you and your tiny brain can understand cannot understand this we'll talk when you grow your balls and stop acting like a girl bro the boy runs away dad a stranger in the house dad ah chicken he doesn't actually run away though but i can't talk to him again okay I don't have science of 30. Do I need a science of 30 in order to, to pass whatever check is going on here? All right, how about, it seems he doesn't believe you. What, no, this is this is not right. Must be 33.75, is it? Little No, little one, you're counting it wrong. Does the truth hurt? Loser, well, that's it, you can't count yourself, so stop talking. I can do it without you, meh. He shows you his tongue. 
<laughs> All right, fine. Uh, I don't want to upset you, solve your puzzle. Okay, cool. Um, I think I think what it is is that uh, you need to give the right answer, and then there's a science check afterward. Like if I let me pick one of the other ones, 3804. 30, it says thirty three seventy five. Science thirty. How do you know? So you know, of course you cannot continue with that one because you don't actually have science thirty. Thirty three seventy five is not an option here. Thirty four fifty six. Hold on. I picked this option. Seems he doesn't believe you. What? No, this is not right. It must be 3375. Are you sure? Well, you know better. I'll just leave you alone. Kid goes, huh, exactly. I finally got it. And look, even better than grown-ups. And I told them, I told them I can. Okay. And you can't talk to him again after that. And he's still trying to solve the difficult puzzle. So it looks like this requires a science check. That's frustrating. I, I have yet to find a science book at all. What's my doctor this year? My science is 12. Um, I don't remember that. I'm going to come back to it in just a minute. It's somewhat frustrating. I haven't been able to find a science book. Or decent armor. What do you need? Just tell me who you are and what you do here. Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> grave robber steal 50. I think I am a grave robber. Well, everyone calls me incorrigible Ned. Don't ask why. If you want to know, I'm looking for enterprising individuals for some easy work. You don't quite look the type. Just looking for someone to talk to you. How do you live in this city? Ah, uh, just a city, I guess. Nothing special. People are just living here, that's all. Still better than in Reno, that's for sure. I ran away from there, and I th and think I've made the right choice. Tell me who you are, and what do you do here? No, okay, I already did that one. Okay, cool. So, why is this here <laughs> instead of on my side huh or maybe i'm getting it because i'm a grave robber i'm pretty sure i am but that doesn't help me oh i just leave dialogue then we get the extra dialogue option okay see all right forget it and he goes wait you know you know you look like a pretty sly bastard you know what i'm saying you know what i mean Vern? Open your eyes in surprise. Oh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Is that so? What about this? Pulls a coin out of your pocket that you're seeing for the first time in your life. I saw you just tried to pickpocket me. Uh, what the? This is a fucking setup. Yeah, yeah, I get it. But you know, I don't blame you. What, seriously? You see, I'm also opportunistic like you. He winks again. Well, perhaps. I knew it. We're masters of the same art. Speaking of art, anything on your mind? Mm, I'm interested. Tell me more. What the hell is this a dialogue? <laughs> Anything on my mind? And I'm interested. All right. I don't even know where this uh, this is. Uh, this one clearly needs some work. I don't even know where it's supposed to be going with this. Anyway, tell me more. Without any words, without a word, he nods at the building across the street. Uh, good choice. Why not? There's an inner yard. I wonder why the traders pile it with junk. I think it's to stop thieves from getting in. What do you think? Could a thief get in there? What's the catch? Straight to the point. Oh, I like it. Let me explain everything, of course. First of all, it's very difficult to get in there alone. You have to climb over the fence and then drag things back. So it takes someone to support you and keep an eye on the street. A two-man job. Right. And secondly, the road across is always patrolled by a damn cop. We'll need to figure out when we're out of his sight. That's why two people are needed. All right. There's another problem. We'll need to act at night, but the street is lit up by lamps. A huge risk if you count the cop. Something should be done about that. What do you need me to do? Try and do something about the street light. Uh, meanwhile, I'll keep an eye out on the situation and work out the finer details of the plan. Like the way you're thinking. I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm in. Great. See you in the evening. <laughs> there we go. Uh, looks like a good time to make our move. What do you think? Uh, let's show these fat cats what's what. Decided to take the thieving job. Your first objective is to get into the trading center courtyard. Is this the trading center courtyard? Is this guy helping me out? That's cops to feel it. The cops feel it when you're tense. Wait, is this the trading center courtyard? This is it, right? Is there anything? Is there? There's nothing here to steal. What? Do, what do you? What do you want me to do? Unless this is not what he's talking about. That's the hotel. Is 
That that looks like the training center courtyard. That's definitely not a courtyard or a training center. Hmm. I don't know. Is this this is this can't be what he's talking about stealing from? Can he? Hello, Wanderer. The Quack Brothers always have a lot of useful stuff for you. Choose and buy. You won't regret it. Trade. Roger Quack. Okay. Map of the lake. This looks useful. A crumpled pre-war map of the surrounding area of Salt Lake City and its large lake. Throughout the map are scattered various markers indicating local attractions and institutions. Practically a guide. Oh, that sounds good. Oh, that's... Yeah, I'm getting that. I don't care if I'm spending all my money on it. I'm getting it. Ugh, God dang it. Let me sell the fruit. He has, what is this? Gas protection suit? Oh, I've done this before. Protective gun suit for workers engaging in dirty and stinky work. It is supplied with a gas mask, rubber boots, and removable glasses. Protects well from harmful fumes in the air and very very uncomfortable to use. Is very uncomfortable to use. Well, there's some armor here. Of course, I can't afford it. Oh my god, it's all so expensive. An acid gecko pelt. Hmm, I haven't actually messed with acid geckos yet. Torn from the corpse of an acid gecko skin. <laughs> Torn from the corpse of an acid gecko. Valued for its refractory and plasma resistant qualities. Okay. 1561. There we go. Wish I had more stuff to sell. Uh, yes, I do do something, but you don't have it. Actually, you don't have a lot of things. Be thankful that we have what we have. Can't ask for more in times like this. Barter 60. Yeah, but it seemed like. It seemed to me that in such a big city, the assortment should be uh, many times more diverse than in the villages. There's something you're not telling me. And a barter 60, I do not have, so I will fail this one. Well, it's not that it's a secret. It's just usually no one understands where the goods come from and how hard it is to get them. Why do you care? Just curious and don't mind me. So I failed that check, so I don't get anything extra out of it. But anyway, can we use this? Yes, we can. Uh, the new location revealed on the map, Provo District. You load the map in your pit boy. This will make traveling this area much easier. Cool. And it's gone. I used it up. All right, let me go ahead and take a look at what it shows on the main map real quick. Provo District. Walked right by it. Didn't even know it was there. And there's probably something there as well. And another thing that's really cool, it actually revealed a bunch of the main map. Oh, I want to know what command that is. That definitely needs to happen. Being able to reveal large chunks of the main map by executing a quest item of some sort. That's really cool. This is always such a pain in the butt to clean up the the your the, all the black squares on here. You never find a proper map of everything. I like that. I like that idea a lot. I have thirty two percent outdoorsman based my endurance intelligence. Um, I can drop my intelligence pretty easily and my endurance to get some extra points out of it, but I don't have enough books to do that with. So let's see what this guy has. Hello, Wanderer. Don't pass by Quark's family business. We are always happy to see the new customers and won't let you go without some excellent goodies. Check out my new weapon stock. Maybe you'll find something fitting your holster. Uh, big weapons. I have a big weapon stack. As you know, your assortment lacks something serious, something that shoots explosives. Might come in handy for me. I see you value some heavy army weaponry. Such things are not for self-defense. Anyway, the sheriff instantly buys any serious weapon I find for a cheap price, of course. Cheap, you know, I can offer more than the sheriff. Let me know when you have something in stock. Smiles and nods. Why, yes, there's a grenade launcher and 40 millimeter ammunition packs for it. If you want, you can buy it before the sheriff. We but don't tell the cops where you got this, baby. No problem. What do we got here? There's the grenade launcher. He's got 1500 here. He's got a schematics kuboton. The, the pre-war schematics for policemen on assembling the kuboton. Describing the art of its application. It is not difficult to build this self-defense weapon, but without proper skills, it'll be useless. This particular, I can't afford anything anymore. What the hell is this? A helical piece of pistol machine gun? Damn, nice. Uh, he's got a bunch of weaponry, though. This is the first place that has halfway decent freaking weaponry. Seriously? Hope this is the first place to get you money. But he doesn't have any books. Or I was trying to buy stuff from these guys and not have enough money to do anything. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hey, where's that dude who was following me around? What the hell? <laughs> Shit, no, come on, really? <laughs> Damn it. Are you kidding me? The guy who was following me around has disappeared because I saved and exited the game and reloaded it and he disappeared. He was following me around, we were gonna do a thief job, but he's gone now. What the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't know why he was following around exactly either if he wanted to steal something. Dang, that's a bug. That kind of sucks. Better restart the game. Yeah, I feel like it. I really do. I, I do kind of want to. It looked like an interesting quest, at least. Does it show up in my status? Salt Lake City, there we go. Execute the robbery of the century in Salt Lake. What? Okay, so I did it? Did I succeed? <laughs> I don't know. What the hell happened? What the fuck happened? I, I must have failed. That must be crossed out, set to failed. But I don't know how. Yeah, you're right. Let's uh, let's let's load up that that start up again. Let's get back in there. I didn't really get too far to it, so let's just go ahead and redo the whole thing. Lynch law. I encounter Lynch law. I don't see anybody. Why in the hell do I encounter Lynch Law? Oh, that's Lynch Law. Hanged Man. Um, I got a free rope, I guess. Okay, can we make it the rest of the way? Yes, we can. All right. Okay. Well, there's more kids out here than there was last time I was here. So the one thing I did do was I go in here and like started this conversation with the kid, but I don't have the science skill to actually do that, to actually pass that check. Um, I had some conversations with these guys that I have cleaned up at this point. And nothing in, oh, they have a knife in here now. Nothing in there. Um, I believe this will probably still be the same, so let's do the numbers I think it was. Lock pick. So I believe it was five. And then... Two... One... Zero, zero... Hold on, I did something wrong. You got one digit out of the five, correct? Oh, it is random. All right, let's go through it again. So our first two are zero, our third one is one. Okay. So zero, zero, one, five, five. There we go. So it is random, or it seems to be random anyway. It may be chosen from a list of, of other numbers, but nonetheless, it appears as though every time you come to, you enter this map, that code will be randomly set. And there's a stim pack in here, and that's about it. Woohoo. Keep that a save. This is the guy who gives me the list of stuff I need. Um, here we go. And then he gives me this guy right here, this item, item list. I have everything but um, gecko pelt, a sledgehammer, possibly metal scrap, and weapon parts. I don't think I have any metal scrap yet. I don't think I have any metal scrap. Okay. Does this kid say anything? If I can talk to him? Oh, they just have floats. That's cool. Uh, yeah, let's not get into the conversation with this guy yet. Let's let's pick him up for let's save him for later. Uh, 
this guy's guns and magazine book, but he, the other guy should have that map that I got. Yeah, there's the map. And there's that. So let's get all of that. 800 or 750 or so, or something like that. Uh, 756, it looks like. Okay. Okay, so that got me a sledgehammer. We can use this map of the lake. Cool. Scout handbook, of course. Okay, so we have... I think we're missing three items now. One of those probably junk. Got three items left. Only have three days to get this stuff in. And I gotta figure out where it's all hidden at. So let's go ahead and loot everything I can. See if I can find anything that's got the stuff I need. We're just gonna take all your food and all your food. <laughs> just gonna walk up to all the tables and take people's foods. A Bloody Mary. I can't fit it. Aw. Okay, can I eat some of this food? Like, can I eat this burger? Does it weigh anything? It does. It weighs a pound. Let's grab this Bloody Mary now. Alright. What is this Bloody Mary? A high octane alcoholic cocktail. Very use very useful after a hard day at the end of the week. Yeah, I bet it is. I bet it is. Alright. I can't take that either. Ah, oh, wow. Okay, everybody has everybody has a ton of stuff. Maybe I can sell some of this stuff. I worked at the blood bank and was like, wait, hold on. What? Hold on. He loved to relax in the bar across the street. I'm gonna peep do it outside. What was this guy saying? When war brick broke out, the bank was closed and then the city was destroyed with, like, something. And he was still sitting there in the bar and turned into a ghoul and his brains from the radiation got, like, jammed. Got it. Then he disguised himself as a bartender and said something else. You've guessed that because of what Joe said about the brain? I have a certain urge to go home, says she. I tell, come on, look at the, look at this one here, people. Okay, I don't know what that one's about. Okay. Uh, no, he forgot what he was doing. Only he remembered that he needed blood to help people. And that he, for some reason, used to be, used to go to some bar. For, so he concluded that the blood was the reason. Okay. But what was the name of the bar he could not remember? And now he wanders the earth looking for bars, enters them at night, kills the visitors, and drains their blood into bottles. Uh, what doesn't fit, he finishes off drinking it himself. And he will stop only when he finds that bar, which, since 2077, lies in ruins. It's supposed to be a horror story, I think. It's not funny or scary. Uh, it's not going to be dark anytime soon, is it? <laughs> Guys, Pennsylvania is far away from Nevada, isn't it? Is it? I have Joe slop inside of my butt. And <laughs> is, anyway, let's have another one. All right. Is that the whole of the float dialogue there? Iguana, maybe you'd also like a roasted dick on a silver platter? Okay. If you're going to puke, do it outside, says the lady. Well, that's interesting. That's like, okay, so I guess that floats, those set of floats start every time. Guys, how do we celebrate the Halloween? It is a horror story. It's a Halloween horror story. You bet. It's the only reason we get pumpkins. Glad you keep it empty after enough space for a pair of candles. Only if you, in honor of the holiday, will be pouring the drinks for free. For drinking the swill like this, it's him who should pay us instead. Yes, I'll pour. I'll roll out the burial of my best beer. Why are you suddenly so kind? And in honor of pumpkinesses, says, uh, pumpkins, we've something, something. Oh, uh, hey, why do you get so excited, you bag of hormones? What the hell? No, oh, no, I just have cherished memories of Halloween. Is that, is that when this mod was released? About the psychopath from Sparks who skinned and stabbed four people and did other stuff? Uh, about those three, the rumors were that they were missing. You're not... To something something right you were also looking for batteries not for the ripper by chance no hey shut the hell up <laughs> no it's about my wife what <laughs> oh she had a very special way to blow my mind or should i say to blow my brain okay compared to her you guys are just kids the fuck is that about brain you once had a brain 
I was fair, old boy. You fucked her. She's fucked your brain. Okay. Shared your grief and it will be doubled. Tell it, buddy. But, but I still loved her. In, in the Halloween 20 years ago, we met for the last time. It hurts to recall my last words to her. Get out of here to, to your mom in Iowa, you walk in cemetery of iguanas on a stick. <laughs> I thought we will reconcile the next day as usual. And she went to collect herbs and got lost. She cooked my favorite gecko's thigh with a condiment of brock flowers. So good. Haha, <laughs> Mrs. Pumpkin ran away from Mr. Pumpkin. Shut up, asshole. Come on, Joe, don't let your nose drip. Okay. Roll out your barrel now. I'm peeing and be sure to share a drink with us. Five bucks. Come on, come on. Okay. All right, I swear there's more to this dialogue, but I'm waiting for it. There's a lot of float dialogue here. A surprising amount. Many of you are wondering what I did to my hair. So I once came to the Nuka Cola factory. What, Joe? Got tired of your old job? This guy's just telling stories. Why did you go there? It's much better here with us. You would go for a batch of proper beer instead. It would be more interesting. Don't listen to those idiots. What happened next? I came to the factory and said, Joe could speak unbelievable. Oh, come on. Enough already. You're telling me this for the hundredth time. I knew you got ball because of cola. You need to know the limits, Joe. No way. Let me tell you. I went to the factory and said, where do you get the water for cola? And they were all arrogantly to me. Oh, we get it out of the sewer. What? I tell them it's toxic. And they said, you think your swipes are cleaner? Your swipes? Okay. I did not believe. Show me, I said. They led me to the sewers and... What was what was there? Rats? Mutants? Uh, Joe pooped his pants and fled. And there in the pipes, the cola runs instead of urine. Tee -hee. And there's the beggar who sits and fills the bottles with urine. Did you really voluntarily go into sewers? You've completely lost your mind. No, no, wait, let me finish. And there's, there's, oh my God, I can't believe this. Laughs so hard that it looks like he's, he's gonna fall to the floor. There's, oh my, <laughs> wipes a tear away. Uh, 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 no, I'll better serve the rock good to the fifth table. All right, that was stupid. Okay, uh, there's a bunch of wild, wild floats in here. That's kind of cool. Uh, just a bunch of conversations that get repeated randomly, cycle through randomly, probably. By the way, didn't I tell you about the ghost train yet? So let's just talk to this guy. A new face in our establishment. Uh, make yourself comfortable. There's no bar in the world where you can sit for a long time without buying some alcohol and getting drunk. And that's what we do for our job. Take a pick. What would you like? I want to ask about the city. Oh, that's exactly the reason I wear out my pants in here every day. Who runs this place? Well, I guess it's the sheriff. He has everyone's asses on a string. Thus, no skunk will dare to show its face in here. Oh, yeah. I see. Can I ask you another question? Is this place run by the law? The sheriff is the law. Yes, all will be as he says. I see. Can I ask another question? Uh, this gallows, is it often empty? Is it often empty? Should it always be empty, ideally? Why are we, why are you asking if it's often, it shouldn't be the other way around. Anyway, come back around afternoon when it's not too dark yet. Usually at that time, they feed the new victims of the show to the audience. Funny guys they are. Let's see, okay. Uh, where can I patch up myself for my equipment? Well, you can get a keg out of vending machines or buy some grub. The Quack Brothers across the street sell equipment, and the technician from the Nuka Cola factory will help you to cope with uh, broken inventory. In the north, in front of the sheriff's office, there's a pharmacist. However, lately, there's almost nothing left to buy from him. Also, you may stay in the hotel when the weakness is about to floor you. The weakness? Okay, other question. Um, did I do this? Yeah, I did this. Okay, uh, can you tell me more about the area? He sighs. Apparently, he's tired of this question. Oh, God, it's the business center. If you need some equipment or want to relax, come here. The factory of Nuka Cola is to the east, and further in that direction is the canyon of the wastewater. To the north, there is the residential area where the sheriff's office is located. Overall, it is better not to wander around because of radiation, wild dogs, acid geckos, and many other hostile abominations. Another question. Why are there so many caravaneers here? 
In recent years, Salt Lake City has attracted more entrepreneurs than usual. This was, you know, just the right moment to line your pockets up with cash. Those who realize this in time have bent the entire potential of the city to their interests. That's why the city still has what to offer. That's why the city still has what to offer the has what has what to offer to other settlements. All right, I see. Can I ask you another question? Who is this guy that is hanging out by the entrance? Incorrigible Ned. Oh, that was the guy out right outside here. Uh, walking back with guts. I wouldn't use the services of such a slob if only he didn't ask so little for them. And I don't mind saving a few coins, huh? Okay, another question. Is that it? Okay, let's cut the chatter. Well, what do you like to drink? Um, <clears throat> buy drinks for everyone here to introduce myself. I don't have that kind of money, but F it. That is a great way to introduce yourself to the city. Pay 200 bucks and everyone here will know who you really are. Oh, I do have that money. Okay, here's the money. Hey guys, beer's on me for everyone. A good a good idea to start with. But trust me, you won't build a reputation in this town just by, by buying everyone a beer. A beer, start small. Thanks for the tip, Joe. No other dialogue? Nope, that's it. Okay, cool. He's, he's going on about the train thing again. All right, well, let's talk to everybody else, see if anybody else talks to me. I don't think anybody else does, but I want to find out. Nope, nobody else does. Okay. Let's see what's in the garbage can. A knife. I may be able to sell that knife. Oh, what does this lady have? Um, What to bring you? What to bring you? What to bring you? <laughs> Why so rude? How is that rude? Makes an amazed face. You've got some nerve, don't you? So the old woman tries hard, wipes up everybody's messes here, and he's still not happy. What? Where did you come from, fancy pants? I bet you're from Vegas, aren't you? You came here to eat, so eat. I'm not your mother to groom you. What's your order? Menu. All right, and of course she has nothing but garbage in here. Never mind. Any other dialogue? Nope, straight to the menu. Okay. Here's a back area. Let's see what these guys do. They kick me out? Not yet. I'm going to steal one of the butcher knives. Ah, I got stuff I got to steal. Let's go sell some stuff. Make some space. We're selling these for sure. Wait, was there like a quest for that needed beer? Nope. 30 bottles of beer. Okay. Um... Damn it, now I want to go steal those back. 49! <laughs> I sold for 55 and there's $49 for the beer. Forget that. I'll get other beer other ways. Um, I can probably just steal whatever's left in these tables. There'll probably be some beer. Yeah, there's some beer there. There we go, there's another beer. Can I fit this guy now? Yeah, I can. Uh, let's go grab can I can I grab that butcher's knife? No, I'm I'm full up. Steal that butcher's knife. Hey, stop! This room is for staff only. You can't be in here. Get out and close the door. Shoo! Oh, they kicked me out. Okay. Oh, the door is locked. Lockpick. Zero percent. Punch it. Not strong enough. I have a stick of dynamite, but I don't want to use it like that. Um not when I only have one stick. I need like a bunch of sticks. Feel safe about that. Ooh, all that food. Oh, okay. Can't get out. Hmm. Let's see what this guy has on him. A flare? Okay. Does this guy say anything? No. Do you have anything on him? Nope. This guy? Nope. Oh, could kind person help a crippled one in his hand happy life? Please. With a bun, at least. Uh, well then, come on, let's dine in the cafe like normal people. Let's go. Just think about how people can change. Just think about how people can change. You washed, brushed, fed, and amused this stranger, and after which he even changed his face. He were given a push to evolve. He would become a respectable citizen in town. What? 
I thought we were just gonna go get something to eat, but alright. I guess we went on a date. Oh, kind, kind, kind person. Thanks. Thank you. I'll never forget you. You're welcome, pal. All right. We went on a date. Yeah, totally. Um, all right. Whatever. <laughs> Strange, but okay. Hey, this guy's a stand back. Let's steal that. Oh, this guy's wandering around. Why is he wandering around? I'm watching you, don't even think about trying anything funny. Well, I'm gonna try it right now. What you got? Oh, you got a flare, who cares? These guys are just wandering off the edge of the map, of course. Hmm, this hotel looks interesting. There might be some stuff in here. Uh, want to book a room? Tell me about the city. What is there to see and where can you hang out? But what can I say? He relaxes in his chair with his fingers crossed on his stomach. It's not the best place in the region. I mean, there's also Vegas and Reno, although I haven't actually been there. But, well, to be honest, I don't have much to say. Go on. Well, the hotel you're in, obviously. Across the street from it shines the sign of uh, a Tin Angel Cafe. It has one distinct feature, gothic style. People like to gather there on holidays and then throw, throw up at the entrance after a dozen beers. Go on. Down the street, where you can find a trading hall. You can buy weapons and other stuff there. Although, if you need medications, you better pay a visit to the local pharmacist. He lives to the north, near the Renaissance Square. It's not very far from here, but his assortment... He makes a gesture and wrinkles his face. Meh. Okay. There is also the office of the, our Sheriff's Burton. He is in charge of almost everything here, so be cool and don't make any trouble. He doesn't like that. It wasn't easy to bring order to the city, but he succeeded. Damn, I don't even want to think about what, what could have happened without him. You can also come by the Nuka-Cola plant and have a chat with its director. If it weren't for him, like hell we'd have some clean water, electricity and other conveniences. Some of us even have pet robots. Isn't that cool? He winks. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And the factory is quite a thing, really. It's not far from here to the east. It is only thanks to this factory that people still know of the existence of the Salt Lake. All caravans come here mainly for the liquid joy they produce. By the way, the caravaneers themselves can be found down the street across the square. I don't know what else to say. Well, except maybe that the cafe has a couple of slot machines. Have fun, wink. He winks again. Ugh, there is a gallows in the square near the entrance. If you want to, know, if you, want to you can wait until 4 p.m. to see the show. It's not real. It's a kind of local entertain entertainment. Someone plays the role of the executioner, someone is accused of complete nonsense and then hanged. Everyone has fun and the people feel great for the rest of the day. I told you everything. There's nothing else of interest. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the one key for a minute. Can this actually change anything up? Nope. All right. One more question, if I may. Well, let's chat a little. I'm interested in the situation in the city. What's the latest muse news? What's the news? What's the news? Overall, the situation in the city is the same as before. Not good. It's boring. Sleepy place. You could find better. Okay. It's quite boring here. No music, no magazines, like you say. He raises an eyebrow. This is not an entertainment venue. We need peace and quiet here. And yet, I know that in the old days, good hotels had coffee tables for those who had nothing to do during their stay. But the paper publishing situation in Salt Lake hasn't been great lately. Magazines either burned up in the nuclear bombing or decayed from the damp climate and poor storage. What remained was taken by the Mormons for their library. Look, you travel often, right? Can you search for some magazines for me? I can't pay a lot, but you wouldn't be encumbered much by a request to get some magazines, right? I'll try not to forget about it. Now let's change the subject. Um, all right. About the coffee table? Managed to find something suitable. Here's a great comic book magazine. Exactly what I need. I'll pay $40 for it. Agreed? Sure. Give the money. Now it's yours. 100 XP for that. Okay. Any other? Uh, not yet. Just wanted to clarify. What kind of magazines are you interested in? Entertaining or erotic? Anything you can read before bed? Do you have something like that? Not right now. Okay. Need a room to rest. How much would a room cost me? Uh, the room is rented for a day. For you, it will cost 200 bucks. To prolong your stay, pay again the next day. Ah, uh, okay. I have 200, but I don't want to get that. Any other questions? No. Bye. What do you got back here? 
Nothing. All right. Who is this guy? A carabineer. You see a cunning carabineer. His face clearly expresses his motto. I know a price for a... I know a price of everything. Okay, whatever. You can't get in there. Okay. Can't get in there. All right, let's talk to the guy. What do you want? Nothing, apparently. <laughs> Nothing at all. Oh, yes. What do you want? I just want to chat a little, if you don't mind. Well, that's great, of course, but I'd like to get some rest from the road after all the hustle and bustle. You know, sometimes you have to run around to figure things out. Also, my purse got stolen. I can't get enough of thieves on this town. Your purse got stolen? Tell me more about it. It was an old leather purse with a bunch of papers and notes. There is no, There was no money in it. The last time I used it was at the caravan merchant's office. Then I came back here and the purse was gone. I don't even know who would have robbed me and when. It's a pretty short walk from the office to here. So on the way from the caravaneers to the hotel, I'll remember it. Oh, if you find it, I'll pay. Okay, good. All right. Tell me again about your stolen purse. Okay, yeah. Same dialogue. Can I loot this? Yes, I can. There's not much in it. All right. Ooh, well, let's uh, lockpick this guy. What's our chances of opening that up? Zero percent. Okay, we're going to punch it. Ah, not strong enough. Oh, well. Anything in here? Nope. 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 There's a dude here I could talk to, I guess. And a sink. And whatever. Don't bother me. I want to rest. All right. What is this? Weapon parts. Those are weapon parts. All right. Um, can I carry weapon parts? Oh, let's go sell some stuff and let's get some weapon parts. Let's grab those. There we go. 10 experience points for successfully using your steel skill. Okay, so that brings me down to... Um, did I get the sledgehammer already? Did not this time. Let's go see about that. Right? I didn't get it. Oh, I did get it. Never mind. I did already. Hmm. Okay, we got sledgehammer. We need a gecko pelt. We got a shovel. We got a first aid kit. We got flares. We got rope. We got an empty flask. We got. We don't have metal scrap. We do have rubber boots, a wrench, and now we have weapon parts. So I believe all we're missing is metal scrap and a gecko pelt. So that should be down to two. Two items. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, there it is. Two items left. So a gecko pelt shouldn't be... I think I saw a gecko pelt on these guys. This guy. Okay, so the cheapest gecko pelt is this one. 123. Brings us down to one. Ugh, let's get the money on the top, please. So what's the last one? Metal scrap. I want to say it's going to be metal scrap. All right, let's see if we can find some metal scrap. There's probably some just hanging around in the city somewhere. I'd like to be able to get back there. But okay, let's see what's next door real quick. The Nuka Cola factory. You need to discuss this with your boss. Okay, find our boss. He makes the, all the decisions, not me. All right. Now, guys, aren't even going to give me any heads up about what's going on in here, but all right. Platform, nothing out of the ordinary. Just a train track. Back entrance to it? There's the back entrance. Okay. There's got to be some scrap in here. Ah, that looks promising right there. Power armor. That is an interesting tile set, I have to admit. And there's another exit grid over here. Huh. So this is the source of the contamination that's spreading through Lo Salt Lake City. Yeah, all right. It's about the same. We got some dogs to kill up here. I wonder if I can handle the dogs, actually. Let's hit save. Are they going to be hostile? Yeah, they are going to be hostile. I thought they would be. 
No, I don't want to use the beer on the dogs. It seems like, oh, that's not the one I wanted to get anyway. That is. Run away! There goes, there went one. Wow, they, uh, they take a few more punches than I had hoped, so they're not going to be that easy to deal with. But that's okay. There's two dogs. Dude, two dead dogs there. Anything to loot in here? No. Nice little path, though. There must be a new tile set there as well. A rotting, smelly old chair sitting on bricks for support. Looks pretty uncomfortable. Somebody sat in it, though. Hmm, 23 HP, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Oh. There you go. 25 XP, where, how close am I? Uh, 36,000 still away. Oh, that gar is radioactive. Let's not get anywhere too close to that. Can I get over there? I can. Oh, there's a plant here I want to check out. A focus plant. You gather some ripe nuts. Alright, cool. There's another one. Same thing. Name is changes. That's kind of cool. I'm not ready to handle that fight or to fight with another dog at all, so let's get out of here. Alright. I wonder how they make those roof tiles like that. That might be really useful for, for modding information to know how to make those tiles and how to apply them. Seems like a, quite a few uh, mod artists are doing that. I have a little bit of stuff to sell. Let's go sell it. Or at least dump a bunch of stuff. I do have that storage area. But what do these guys have on them? A lighter, new Coca Cola, and some canteen. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Grab that. Need your hands free to use the workbench? You can use this workbench to repair or improve items if you have the skills and materials. Disassemble dynamite, repair the Mysterious Blaster from Area 51. Material, Mysterious Blaster 1, Junk 1, Requirements, Repair greater than 50, and Science greater than 90. I do not have either of those, or even some junk, apparently. Oh, I punched that door to death, looks like. Obliterated. There is some junk, though. And I think that completes the list. Oh, hello, what is this? Nuka-Cola Cherry. A bottle of Nuka Cola, a flavored non alcoholic beverage of the nu post nuclear world. It is made from the leaves of mutated cocoa, coca, and juice of some fruits. Warm and exhausted. You want to be warm and flat with cherry flavor. Huh. I don't know what they mean by exhausted. I have to ask. <laughs> Although I don't think. Um, my understanding is that Keyboard Gecko did not actually retranslate those lines, not the description lines anyway. Okay, let's go see if I have any items left that need to be made. Uh, job is done. Here are the things you ordered. Really? Wonderful. Here's the payment. Thank you. You helped me a lot. I got a thousand XP for that, too. That's really nice. A thousand XP is a good number. Anything else from this guy? Thanks for your help. No. Okay, there's nothing else from this guy. And I am down about 30 pounds worth of stuff. Cool. Yeah, a little bit of money. All right. Exhausted is flat. Might be the internet. Like, it might be the intent, like you thought. That's my thought as well. But I'd have to ask Keyboard Gecko. But even then, uh, Keyboard Gecko didn't retranslate the 
um, the descriptions, except for a couple after I brought them up, because those were like the um, descriptions of the character. Except for a couple that I, when I brought them up, because those were the descriptions of the characters on the character creation screen. Those are the ones he did fix. I don't think he's fixed much else. Except for that he's just focused on dialogue, which is cool. Uh, let's look what's up here for a second. You enter Salt Lake City's residential area. Seeing children play in the streets without care in the world makes your eyes moist. Who's this guy? Welcome to my humble dwelling. Wow, I haven't seen such a large collection of books anywhere else. Where do your where do the books in your library come from? Well, I gathered these books from around the ruins with my own hands, believe it or not. What a great example of selfless devotion to culture and education, you're a remarkable person. Vernon chuckles. That's rather an overstatement. Besides, it wasn't until later in my life that I began craving for literature. It took me several years to uh, be able to see thoughts and ideas and writings instead of viewing books purely as entertainment. Okay, so, like, so collecting books wasn't originally your own idea? It was a task given by our Mormon community. The Salt Lake City Public Library was destroyed during the nuclear attack. The fires that followed burned down many of the private libraries as well. The Mormons decided it was important to preserve the surviving remains of the pre-war wisdom. Nowadays, the main bulk of the archives is kept within the Mormon church, and the books you see here are a, are a private collection for internal use only, so to speak. I see. Still looking for answers? Well, I may have some for you. You seem more intelligent than the other people in this city. Perhaps you know the history of the place? I sure do. I'll be happy to tell you about the city and the history of its establishment, if you have time, of course, as it is quite a long story. Please tell me about it. Well, here it goes, then. He looks, as he, he looks as if he's telling a bedtime story to the children. This is a tale of great people in their hard everyday work. Salt Lake City was built before the war. It was a big city by American standards. There were lots of people, trains moving up and down the railroad, factories blowing smoke. The city was bustling and constantly in motion. After a while, a small gambling area was set up with not very expensive casinos and restaurants, which had big signs and shining corbels. Because a corbel. In architecture, a corbel is a structured piece of stone, wood, or metal jutting from a wall to carry a super incumbent weight, a type of bracket. Really? That's a corbel? Home Depot. And then they send me to Home Depot. Have you guys heard the word corbel before? I, there's probably only two of you watching, so yeah. But oh well, never mind. Shining corbels. I have no idea if that's the right translation. That does not seem like the right translation. <laughs> the city was by no means clean, for it was still an industrial center. It produced electricity, ran factories, mined salt and copper. There was even a military base with its own airfield in the north of the city. And then, God save us, radio stations began screaming about the impending nuclear threat, and a panicked residents lined up to take shelter in the large underground vaults, safe havens built by the Vault-Tec Corporation. Small pool construction companies like Pricer Inc. began making private mini vaults designed for families. There are hundreds of them in Salt Lake, scattered in the basements of various buildings. Then everything calmed down. Armed conflict subsided and people began to forget about the bombs. No one knows who fired the first shot. It could have been the Russians or the Chinese or even us. Doesn't matter now. The past is dead and gone. The most far-sighted, the most far-sighted, hidden a large vault in the in Was Wausauch Ridge to the east of here, while the rest took refuge in their family vaults and and basements. Those who lived in this part of the Salt Lake City were luckier, as the bombs fell mostly in the northern area, where the military base was located. The local climate smoothed out the effects of the explosions, washing away the nuclear fallout with fall rains and then blanketing it with snow. People didn't come out of their vaults until 10 or 30 years after the war. After all, no one liked to spend their lives in metal walls. Those who were braver went out first, while others took their time. The last of the remaining vault dwellers had seen the sun only a few years ago. 
Those who emerged first immediately, immediately became aware that the outside world was no longer safe. Radiation and mutated animals terrified the inhabitants. Some of the people were not of good intentions either, so a council was called and a sheriff was elected, charged with building a new society on the ruins of the old city. Okay, yeah. The sheriff took up the fight against crime. He gathered a team of determined people around him and helped to strengthen many businesses and organizations. Of course, it was not an easy task. The city is fragile, so to speak. Every prominent figure here is a pillar on which it stands. Should one of the pillars collapse, the whole city will follow. I got 50 experience points for that. Hope you find my story interesting. Would you be so kind to offer me a cup of tea for the effort? Gladly. Here's 10 bucks of tips. Thanks. All right, cool. Do you know anything about Provo's population? Oh, yes, it's an old story. The inhabitants of Provo were like the Ku Klux Klan from before the war. At first, the sheriff used their bigotry and extremism for his own cause. He, uh, he employed them to deal with certain undesirables, and when things improved, he got rid of them. Since then, those rednecks hate the city and its citizens. They consider us crooks. After a while, they turned to brigandage, with criminals of all sorts joining their ranks. Understood. All right? Do you accept rare books and magazines? I have plenty of books, but not periodicals. You see, I'd like to get better. I'd like to better chronicle the events of the last months before the Great War. If you can find anything on this subject, I'd be happy to exchange it for one of my books. I think I found what you were looking for, a bundle of pre-war newspapers. Okay, I don't remember where I found that, but here. Hmm, uh, Vernon takes a good look at the articles. Ah, Denver Post, isn't it? Goodness, it's been more than 50 years and they're still readable. All right, you can pick something up from the library in exchange for this. Uh, something valuable. Well, you obviously haven't had, you obviously don't have anything more valuable than books here. Okay, let's see what you have. My library is the biggest in the city. Tell me what you need and I'll try to find it. Guide on Surviving the Wilderness, Newspapers in Exchange for the Book on Electronics, Manual of First Aid, the newspapers are yours. How about science? So we got, uh, uh, this is Outdoorsman, uh, this is Repair, this is First Aid, uh, Science here. Do you have anything dealing with traps? Trap, of course. Hey, that's the first time I've seen a traps book. I'm interested in works about firearms, Look for something on energy weapons. Or number eight. I don't know what number eight. Eight must there. Okay, there's a there's an option off the bottom of this list here that you can't see, um, and that is because of one of these. Number eight takes you back up the list and says not now or something like that. How about we're gonna get surviving the wilderness? Perhaps you'll find the scout handbook useful. You should definitely give it a read. It has such helpful information in surviving the wilderness. Yes, this will work. Let's trade. Thank you, Wander. It was a pleasure doing dealing with you. I wonder, was it really so hard to find newspapers in this city? Why, it sure was. But firstly, before the war, Salt Lake was a huge city with socially-minded citizens, so newspapers were in high demand. Secondly, newspapers degrade quickly, especially in a humid climate like ours. I've already gone through all the dispensers in the area, barring those in radioactive zones and uninhabited, and uninhabited districts. I most likely wasn't the first to do so, because I couldn't find anything of value. A lack and alas. I see. Well, goodbye. All right. Anything else? This is nonsense. Oh, it's a book on psychiatry. Nice. <laughs> um, do you have any books or magazines for sale? Yes, I may have some. If you're interested, tell me more. I happen to have a rare book on medicine, more specifically on neurosurgery. That's all I'm looking for, but okay. Even if you don't practice medicine yourself, it will most likely be of interest to any professional doctor. I've never seen a more informational, practical guide. How much for the book? You know, at this point in my life, I don't value money as much as my own health. I have a heart condition and need a specific medication for it, which is nowhere to be found in the city, and I wasn't able to find it to found it. <sighs> I wasn't able to find it anywhere else. You say you need a cardiac medication? You say you need a cardiac medication. I don't think that's the right way of phrasing it, but, um, all right. All right, if I find some, I'll bring it to you. I'm not going to... You're in luck. I happen to have a vial of just the thing. Let's barter. I do actually have. Thank you for giving me a chance to live longer. Yep, here you go. Um, is that it? That's it? Okay, cool. That is it. That is all he's got. The manual on neurosurgery. Very very rare manual for highly qualified surgeons. Seems that very important information is collected here, but it is so scientific and complex that it will take a lot of time and effort to study. Hmm. And I got... Wait, is this my only... I thought... Hold on. Did he give me one? Did he give me a... 
Oh, I did put it away. All right, cool. That's fine. I need like five or six of these to make it really worth uh, reading them all at once. So let's do that. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. I'm just a dork. All right, let's talk to this guy uh, one last time. I think I'm gonna throw this in the quick save. Does he say anything new? He does not. Okay, goodbye. Uh, let's go see what else I can get out of here. Nothing on there. Nothing on there. Nope. Negative. Nope, have to look though. Just in case there's anything I can loot. Nope, I can't loot anything from there, oddly. The display cases have nothing on them. Okay, so can I steal from this guy right here? No, not without getting stabbed in the back and almost murdered by him. Can I walk around to the back side and steal from it? No. All right. Oh, man, he just murdered me. He just came up and stabbed me in the back for books. What if I go into attack mode? Is it? Yeah, it's broken that way. Okay. As usual. Everybody hates me when I go into attack mode to do that. So he stabbed you me again. <laughs> I fought. I fought valiantly. I don't even know if I did that. <laughs> All right. Well, here's something else sneaky we can do. And he's unconscious. Ah, oh, but everybody hates me. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. I'm in sneak mode. There's no way anybody should know about me. I should be able to come up and knock this guy unconscious. Without anybody knowing about me. Are you kidding me? But the wife knows. All right. Can I lockpick this door closed? No, I cannot. Okay. That was worth a try, though. Oh, well. Absolutely. What does he have on him? Oh, he's got a book of science, which I'm going to steal. All right. There we go. Um, can I steal from here, though? No, I just cannot. I don't. I don't know. He just keeps, he just keeps murdering me. Yep. 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 <laughs> Okay, can I do anything else here? Man, I... Uh, I don't have to murder everybody. That seems silly. Just, I just want to knock this guy out and take whatever he's got hiding there. At least I want to know what he's got hiding there. Specifically. But I suspect even knocking, um, knocking him unconscious won't do it. I can't knock this... I can't lock these items either. I don't think I have any lock picks now. He is definitely unconscious now. Did not want to do that. I wanted to get him. Can I get over here on this stuff now? I cannot. Okay. And she's about to punch me to death. And I think the kids are about to throw rocks at me until I die. Oh my god! <laughs> she threw a rock at me until I die too. Wow. The suckers are deadly with them rocks. Okay, that's it. We gotta just murder this guy. So, if I want to see what's on there. That's really irritating, but it's doable. Or maybe it's not. Hold on. Thought it'd be a lot easier than that, but... That's what Fallout needs, non-lethal weapons. Although, I have to admit, there was that one uh, weapon in... Um... Oh, wow, yeah, I can't hit anything. I can't hit anything here. Olympus 2207, the knockback, or the, no, I'm sorry, the knockdown uh, shotgun bullets. That was pretty cool. I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind have some knockdown abilities in, on, attached to weapons. Be pretty nice. Uh, it, a nice change from uh, all the generic stuff we always have right now. Let's grab you. Or 
we go. He did not die though. Oh my god, he got up and murdered me. I swear to god. <laughs> the fuck is this guy surviving? All right, hold on. Um, awareness. What does he have? 57 out of 57 HP. So it's not quite enough with a single stick of dynamite, huh? Hmm. So maybe what I need to do is actually set the dynamite off, plant it on him, and then go into talk to, into combat mode. He got up and murdered me after he was after he after he blew up with a stick of dynamite. I mean, come on. Okay, I'm gonna go straight into combat mode, and I'm gonna try and just knock him out here. And I'm gonna run away a little bit, and it's gonna blow up on him and probably me, and I might kill me too. Actually, I think I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Oh, shit! <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! That didn't work. I need. To, I guess I'll heal myself. I have to know what's on that table. It's one of those burning things that's getting me super frustrated with this game. But at least it's really easy to drop stuff on this guy. Oh, and I miss? Whatever. Am I dead now? Might be dead now, we'll see. Oh my god, he's still alive! <laughs> he stabbed me a couple times, but then he died at least. Finally. Finally. Oh, and then she, the chick runs away. You must know it's a burning desire. Oh, there's nothing on here! There's nothing on here, and yet he'll murder me for touching the books. What the fuck? Who makes this shit in a mod where there's nothing on here and he has, to, he has to guard it with his life? Who thought this was a good idea? At least put like four or five books on here or something. They're so rare. Now you know, exactly. Knowing is half the battle, Gojo. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> God, that's so silly. Whatever. Okay, let's, let's see what the wife has to say. She says she's going to better reload to Vegas, apparently. Relocate to Vegas. What do you got on here? Can I take it? No, there's nothing in there anyway. At least she's not going to murder me for it. Don't bother me, she says. That's all she's got. All right. Hey, a rope. We'll steal your rope. This guys, you're probably being kinky, but all right. Kinky with that rope. What's going on here? These people are all in a hurry. What are you all doing? Are they, are they workers? They're like coming back from the job or something? I don't know. Let's rest until morning. It's too night. night. There you go. Put some old spaghetti on the table. <laughs> okay. They won't let me get to there. Well, let me get to there. I can steal that stuff. What if I go into sneak mode? Can I get to this stuff now? No, of course not. Um, what if I go into sneak mode and this knock this guy in the back of the head? And miss. And that sucked. All right. Blah, come on, give me a knockout. There we go. Now, am I allowed to see what's on this shelf? Yes, and there's a flare and a couple knives. It's not worth it. All right. Okay, let's talk to these people. She says hello, he says hello, and that is it. And what do they have on them? Some beef jerky and a fruit. All right, whatever. And uh, that was it. Okay, let's get out. Let's keep going. There's a dude laying down on the ground here. I don't know what his deal is. Let's see what he has to say. Get away! I feel so bad. Oh! You see a sick citizen. Sweat drips off his forehead. He must be having a fever. Doctor skill on him at 0%. Patient has dysentery. He needs medication. Using skills alone is not enough. All right, let's go find a doctor who might help with that. Oh, this guy. Does he have anything on him? Ooh, he's got some ammo. Yeah. Let's check this sick guy. Maybe he's got something on him. What the hell are you doing? I can't. I can't steal from him. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> All right, that's cute. That's cute. I like the way that was handled. What the hell are you? 
you, he says. Okay, he's got nothing on him. How about you? The woman is in tears. Why are you here? Why are you crying? It's Merc. He's always yelling at me, that bastard. I've done so much for him, and he all he thinks about is himself. Oh, me and me all the time. And you, of course, give him a reason to yell at you? Well, obviously you're not the kind of person who spends a lot of time with drunks. People like Merc don't need a reason. They just find one. It doesn't matter what I do. Why does he do this? A typical guy with big balls, and, he's, and he wants everyone to know it. He thinks he's a master and a big man, when in fact he can't even fix the closet door. Why are you sticking around? Uh, okay, is he always so aggressive? No, only when he's drunk, and that happens almost every day. When he's sober, it's even, it's even pleasant to talk to him. He can make jokes and say some kind words. Have you tried to ask for help? Who in this town will help a person in need? The sheriff, the sheriff does not want to get involved into a family's affairs, and neighbors don't want to make enemies. Besides, what can they do? Come with a gun and shoot him in the head? Well, all right. <laughs> that sounds good to me. You're so dumb, tears won't help you. Yes, I know. I hope you're done with the questions. Yes, it's nice to see a woman crying and realize that I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> all right. Leave before I call my husband. Is he really going to protect you? Oh, yes, what a paradox, men. <laughs> Only when he's drunk, which is almost always, exactly. Exactly. Do not defraud the male right of primacy, bitch. <laughs> you just can't help yourself, can you? Merc will be glad to punch your face, believe me. No, I just really know, I know, I just really, I just want to know, would he really protect you? Ah, uh, okay. Um. Oh, yes, trouble, here I come. It didn't actually start a dial. It doesn't actually start anything. Okay. I just want to make fun of a crying chick. Wait, before I call it, okay, fine. <laughs> Let's see. Is there anything else? I'll help you then. Why? Why Why do you want to get involved? Charisma 8, speech 30. I think I have one of those. I think I have speech 30. I just want to help. I can't stand women's tears. How noble of you. I hope you have enough heart for it. Don't worry. Do you have any idea what to do? Any, an idea? I was hoping you'd come up with one yourself. All right, I have a bottle of poison moonshine, but I can't do it. Besides, he might see through it because I've never given him such a drink. Uh, something else? Well, the local police are unlikely to interfere in our family's affairs. If it comes to a fight, you don't need to worry about them, just so you'd know. Yeah, I don't need anything. I'll deal with it as I see fit. Okay, good luck. Actually, can I talk to her again? I cannot talk to her again. Does she have the item on her? No, okay. I'm gonna... I want that poison. I don't know if that's the way I want to do it, but I do want the poison. Give me that. Okay. She puts out a bottle from a stash. Puts out... Pulls out a bottle from a stash. Here. I hope you have the guts to do it. Okay, good luck. So what did I get here? Poisoned moonshine. Bottle of moonshine mixed with a deadly poison. It weighs one pound. I can think of a few people I want to use this on. Except I can't use it at all! No! The use option is gone! No! Alright, um... Now I can talk to the husband. I don't get it. Who the hell are you and what the fuck do you want from my wife? I... or your new neighbor. I just wanted to say hi. Yeah, that's the ticket... Ah, neighbors are good. Hey, idiot! Give me food! We have guests. What? You whore? I said, get me food and get and some booze. Okay. Ah, oh, I could poison him. Forget it, pal. I have some on me. Bottoms up, yes? Speech 75. Oh, my kind of guy. You should have started with this. Don't mind that bitch. Let her cry. Where were we? Right. A drink, right? Poor poisoned moonshine. Ha! Ah, we need neighbors like you. He always welcome, so to speak. Drinks the glass of moonshine. Oh, no, hold on. That's not right. He goes, ah, oh, goddamn. Hey, neighbor, why aren't you drinking? You can't do that? Come on, you, come on here. Cheers. Right, cheers, neighbor. Ugh. Oh, that was that. That was a good one. You have a decent moonshine, neighbor. Why aren't you drinking? I don't get it. Weak kidneys. I even broke a little sweat. You know, when I was on the force, my partner and I once got a tip on a brothel. You know, we had to gain the trust of the drug dealers, so we took a few doses. Uh, what is it? My partner had the bad stuff. He died after two days. Nobody could save him, and I... He cries. My friend, it seems you two were close. We we're almost like brothers. I still can't... Damn, give me another one. Drink with me this time, okay? At least a couple of sips. Yeah, or sure. He drinks. Ugh. Oh, it's so hot in here. Where did you get that stuff? Is this from Harry the Pig Rat? Or no, it's from a bar. 
grabs the edge of the table and falls on his knee. Oh, got me good, laughs. Even Russian vodka, it's not like that. Oh, what did you give me? Oh, so what was it about Harry the pig rat? Well, he, nears, he lives nearby, makes moonshine and sells it at the bar. Crawls on the floor and tries to lay down. Listen, sit here while I, uh, tell me about yourself, about me. You know that doesn't matter. Why? Sleep, just sleep. When you wake up, I'll tell you everything. About yourself, about myself, about wandering around the waste. I'll tell you everything. Do not worry. Sleep. Is that a reference to a movie? That's kind of twisted anyway. You promise you're not messing with me. Keep silent. So I want to hear it. This was his last breath. Get a thousand experience points. You acted low poison in the strong turd, but it's all for the better. Thank you for saving me from this dot dot dot. And he's now he's now underneath the couch. He just fell he just fell under the couch. That's where he decided to sleep. <laughs> Got a thousand XP for doing it that way though, but I guess that's one possible way of solving the, the quest. Let's reload that though. I'm gonna try and give it a good uh, a, a decent solution to it. Stay away from there, he says. Don't disturb me. I'm working. All right. What's he got on him now? Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't rob him though. Sadly. Um, I didn't get the poison this time around. But before I do that, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and see if like the if there's any other dialogue that supports that. Like maybe I can um These guys are just walking around in a circle. You need something? Who are you and what are you doing here? Who is your daddy and what does he do? That's a, such a classic quote. They used to use that line a lot in this in this mod. I was on a caravan until it got raided. Now I'm just another street bum. I'd work for the sheriff, but he doesn't take out of towners. I'm just trying to get by from day to day. That's too bad. This man could be useful. You should probably keep him in mind. Hey, if you know of anyone that's hiring, can you pass my name along? I'm good with my hands and I'm not picky, right? See ya. Hey, here's another guy who needs a job. I don't even know where I would put it, but he needs a job. It's a statue. You're not even going to describe what the statue is, but it's just a statue. Nothing out of the ordinary. This guy don't have much on him. This guy don't have much on him. Can I steal from the statue? No. Okay. Let's talk to the sheriff and see if he says anything about Drunken Bob or whatever his name is. Talk to sheriff. No discussion without his approval. All right. Can I loot your table? No. Can I loot your thing here? Okay, there's nothing on it. Here, this one too? Oh, there's a thing on it. A criminal case. Rather spoiled by rodents, humid in time, humid humidity in time. This folder contains materials of some old criminal case. Some things in it can still be read. Can I read it? You scan these notes into your pit boy. Criminal case number four seven eight three. Wow, uh, six pages of this. Jeez. Uh, a criminal case file, fairly battered by rodents, humidity, and time, but some of the text could still be comprehended. Leather case diary with an elegant religion-themed lettering. Day one. Today, Emily confessed that she took a flower from our neighbor's garden, Mr. F Mr. Flowers, without allowance. We have apologies with the whole our family to this worthy man, and he favorably accepted it. As I'm writing this, Emily strenuously prays to our Lord for forgiveness. She does it voluntarily as the seed of faith made sprouts in her innocent soul, which delights my relentless heart greatly. Wow. Okay, but back to the point. My flock awaits of its shepherd. As even in meadows of paradise, it is bequeathed to us to toil tenaciously in the name of our Lord. Day two. Better news came to our little town. Mrs. Schultz's son, Major Otto Schultz, perished in the Galan province. I will definitely visit this poor sob by today's evening. Hmm. I hope I could relieve her sorrows and help to reconcile with our lord. Why can't people live in peace? After all, we are brothers in the all-seeing eyes of our father. Day three. 
Judgment day has come. All that occurred recently I can only recollect in fragments. Alarm sirens akin to the Jericho trumpets. My poor Mary and Emily are packing their belongings hastily. Stampede, Eddily couple. Trampled by cattle in fear-induced rage. Pavements covered in blood. Doors to the doors to the Mr. Flowers family shelter, which granted asylum to almost three dozens of refugees. But there is one thing I remember clearly. Before security cameras went off, I witnessed the fireball on the horizon expanding rapidly, greedily consuming souls of the poor lambs of God, and the dazzling flash. Our demise came from the skies, looking like hellfire breaking out from the ground. D4. Lord Almighty, give me strength. Mary, my sweet Mary. Mr. Flowers said that shelter doesn't provide enough protection from radiation. Medicines we took made her suffer heavy allergic reactions. Still see her swollen hands covered with stains reaching to me. Eyes blurred with pain. Hear eerie cries. Why our Lord is so cruel to me. She needs me so much in her last moments, but my strength is ebbing away. Day five. Praise our Lord. Oh, why was I so blind? I abstained myself, fostering my spirit through prayers, and the revelation came upon me. All that happened is the greater plan of our Maker. To ascend all suffering souls to heaven. That flash which nearly blinded me was the light of pearly gates of heaven. Opening for all the righteous and faithful, and we are lured into this purgatory by the servants of Satan, tempting us with false promises of safety in defiance of our Father's will. Mary... I know you are waiting for me in heaven, but I am the shepherd of our God's lambs, and I still have unfinished business to do in this wicked, sinful earth. Still, our daughter will join you soon, no matter how much it saddens me to part ways with her. Day 6. Today I opened the gates to let the light of our Maker called Radiation by ignorant fools to shine upon this condemned place. Devils spawned, disguised as Mr. Flower, tried to stop me, but fire axe in my hands like a blazing sword of Archangel chopped squealing messenger of satan to pieces oh yes many of them died by my hand that day by that day there is no food left but with the power of our lord i communed with their flesh and blood which tasted better than any wine for me but mary the most important thing our sweet and lovely child is on the way to you for some reason she resisted stubbornly when i squeezing last breath from her mortal flesh maybe i should have cleared blood blood from my face and cleaned my clothes beforehand Day 7. I'm done here, but there's so much more poor souls left for me to send to the pearly gates of heaven. The flesh of mine is changing under the influence of our Lord, which makes some inconvenience. Uh, but I believe it's all for the best cause. Rejoice, righteous men, faithless, be frightened, because I am coming for you. Fragments of crime scene investigation reports. Examination started in 1901. Examination ended. One story brick building, room size inside six and a half meters by man, Caucasian, crucified upside down on the western wall, left leg partially skinned, multiple bike marks on face, neck, abdominal areas, woman, head missing based on the type of wound it was probably torn off. Who would be doing an investigation like this right after the bombs fell? Who would bother? Examination meadow to the northwest of stakes about two meters high, placed in the Shape of a cross, men and women impaled, sex of some victims could not be identified due to heavy damage and body parts missing. Some inscriptions are seen on intact skin, probably Latin. Evidence collected at the crime scene, one, a wooden cru crucifix. Two, a leather casebook, surprisingly well-preserved postcard picturing not-so-dressed movie star of a particular genre. The other side of it covered with impeccable calligraphic, calligraphic, uh, calligra cal calligraphy, so cal calligraphic, cal calligraphic, I don't know, handwriting. Now it would be calligraphy handwriting, I think. Uh, good day, Sheriff Crouch, bringing to your attention that I, together with Detective Hastings, am going on a research for our John Doe. Case file records were helped us establish his estimated whereabouts and also the fact that he probably will soon go hunting again. We decided not to wait for your squad to return from the rotten crag. I'm assuming you will question loudly and why would some and why would some priest poke into this business? Of course you will not you will use not so gentle expressions and won't be as elegant as all. Well, what could I say? That poor man was once my brother in faith. Oh, quite eager in his duty to help those who suffered, and then, when he himself became one who needed help, 
Although late in coming, I still want to help him rest in peace. He will wipe every tear from their eyes, and then there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain as the old order of things passed away, Reverend McLean. P.S. And for the love of, of heaven, don't waste all the paper on the cigarette roll-ups. Just imagine if we would need to write a letter, probably the last one, and on a picture of a sinful dancehall. Not that attractive, too, I must say. Although, knowing your taste, I suppose that would be your most preferable option. Therefore, if I shall not return safely, my assistant will impose ten-year penance upon you. So it's in your best interest to pray for our success. Okay. Weird. Odd. Is there a reason for this? Is there going to be a quest here to find this guy? Kill this guy? Is he the leader of a gang or something? Uh, well, let's talk to people. Hope we can talk to this guy. Nope. This guy. Nope. Uh, what do they have on him? A uh, nightstick. Another nightstick in a canteen. You know, I may want to start stealing the nightsticks. I think I took this guy already. All right, let's talk to this guy. What brings you here? If he came to see, came to see the sheriff, he's in his office. He won't talk to me. All right, how about this guy? Move along. Move along. You don't see his ID. You don't need to see his his res, was ID or whatever it was. <laughs> Is there anything in the, in the jail cells? Probably not, but. All right. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, can't get in there. All right. One conversation with the sheriff coming up. Oh, hey, talking head. Or well, animated head anyway. Seeing your sheriff's badge, she skeptically raises an eyebrow. Where did you get that from? I am the elected sheriff of Uranium City. I heard something about this, tan this town from the Caravaneers. They mine uranium ore for power plants there, right? Well, it's nice to see that other settlements keep to uh, maintain the order by the law. Sit down, Sheriff. For you, I am willing to find more time than usual. Oh, really? I wasn't elected Sheriff last time. It's nice to see a friendly representative of the law. Well, let's talk, Sheriff. Talk? Excuse me, what is this place? I really should do something with education around here if people can't even read the Sheriff sign at the entrance. Oh, so it's the Sheriff's office, and you are? I'm the Sheriff himself. My name is Burton Hickok, but people sometimes call me Whip. And to immediately answer the next question, yes, my ancestor is that Hickok. And yes, I bring order with a whip. I mean, a pistol if necessary. Hey, Sheriff Burden, everything is clear. Talk. Sheriff, they say you know the location of the banker base. Is that true? I didn't. I don't know who said that, but okay, I'll ask him anyway. Well, yes, that's true. And I'm not going to share that information for nothing. First, prove your worth to this city. Uh, I could give you some cash for the information. Money? Do I look like a merchant to you? However, you can make a donation to the city around $3,000, for instance, would help a lot around here. Don't you think I've already done that? <laughs> Let me think. Given your reputation in my city, I will not help you. Okay. Uh, okay, how about we do it the other way? If that's it? Okay, um, I can't actually... He doesn't actually give me a quest. Okay, how's it going, Sheriff? More or less all right, I guess. Anything specific? The city lives its ordinary life. The population does not complain. Everyone knows their place and somehow get along. Okay. I have to tell you something important? Really, what is it? Could you find an open job position for one particular hobo? Uh, no, not me. For a hobo, huh? Is this about the one that wanders around that the trading area? It was about time for him to get himself out of the gutter. Very well, I can give him some job, but... Uh, I can give him some job. Not for the soft-handed, though, but it will be hard and honest work. Tell him to come to me and we'll talk about it. Will do. Sheriff, I need some serious work. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern. <laughs> There's actually nothing I'm not capable of doing myself, but I'm not sure you would be capable either. Uh, well, you know better. Oh, that's it? Okay, fine. It's nothing else. All right, cool. I guess I need to go up a couple levels probably, but still, let's go find that bum who was standing in front of the... Uh, in front of the... Whoa, 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 where am I? This is not the place I thought it would be. Oh, I remember this place now. Okay. Where was the guy who was asking for work? Oh, it was this guy, wasn't it? Right here. Oh, it was in front of the sheriff's office. My bad. Um, right. Uh, okay, I can't... What? That's not the guy?
Okay. Alright. I guess there's not much going on there. I remember this map causing a lot of crashes. You, f you walk into an abandoned locomotive depot. Door is locked. And I can't punch it down yet. And I can't lockpick it yet. Oh well. Hmm. I hope there's something back here. That's a crowbar. Oh, I wonder if the crowbar will work on the door. First, we'll try it like this. Did you really expect to pull us off with muscles like that? Oh, I can't. it does actually have an effect, but I guess it doesn't do the job I need it to do. Jeez, I miss a lot. I'm not strong enough to take the door down. Okay. What is my strength? My strength is six. How much more? How many more? How much more in the way of muscles do I need? Hmm. What do I have? I don't think I have anything here that will build my muscles. Oh well. Can't quite get in there yet. Seems to be the case. Oh, there's a thing over here. Let's see what it got here. You using the crowbar on the door? I did. It did. It did pop up and saying uh, saying that I could, but that I wasn't strong enough still. So if I do this and I use the crowbar on the door, it says, "Did you really expect to pull this off with muscles like that?" Which was what surprised me because I have six strength, so I'm a little surprised that it didn't actually work. But oh well. Yeah, six strength. Yeah. <clears throat> And then I checked to see if I had any drugs that would increase my strength, and I didn't see any off the top of my head here. Like, I don't think any of these actually increase strength at all. Um, well, let's, let's give it a test real quick. Yeah, probably. Um, what do we got here? We got one of these suspicious packages. Does that increase my strength? No, it does not. I believe it drops my perception, even. Yeah, no, it drops in my intelligence. Never mind. Uh, the Mintats, of course, increase only intelligence, no strength. The Rataway don't do either. And the painkiller doesn't do anything. I'm sorry, it increases my damage resistance by 5%. The berries do drop my agility by one. They poison me as well. The candy increases my perception and my charisma, and dro but drops my agility. Drinking water probably doesn't do anything, actually, but heal me. It looks like it heals me. Um, and then that's pretty much it, huh? And then this one increases my perception and my endurance, but drops my charisma. Okay. Fallout 2, Fallout 2 had some doors like that. You could open them with 8 strength or a crowbar with 7 strength. Ah, okay. Making me think that I'd need 7 strength for a lot of those. I should probably come back to this game with a 7 strength character. I probably end up drop swapping charisma for it. But whatever. Let's go to the drugstore, see what they got here. I'm listening. Show me the goods. Okay. And some medical pajamas. Hmm. Okay. I need healing. Sure, but you'll have to pay. Oh my god, that's quite a bit, quite a bit. That's enough for today. Let's not do that. I have, I feel feverish and the cough is killing me. Is there any cure for such a disease? 
let me examine you. This is an infection. It can be handled quite well with nightshade berries mixed with alcohol, but that treatment is still much less effective than the properly produced medicine based on the same berries. You can buy the latter from me. It's called Blood Purifier if it's still available. Well, you know if it's still available, right? Why are you offering to sell it to me if you don't have it? <laughs> Thanks for the tip. When I, when I will set up a camp on the wasteland and feel sick, there will be a chance for me to get cured on the spot near the campfire oh my god that translation oh wow 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 cured on the spot near the campfire whatever um let's do the other one. Oh wait these makes medicine too i need healing no do you make medicaments i can make healing powders antidotes simulants and the blood purify but i need your own components for mine or are scarce so what do you need Outdoorsman 30, Science 30, I don't have yet. Can can you teach me how to make medicine? Uh, reputation. Well, I wouldn't mind a little extra income, but how do I know what you're going to use your knowledge for? What if you decide to become my competitor or even start producing drugs? I don't want to have any problems with the sheriff. Pity, I want to learn this skill so much. Okay, yeah, low reputation, can't do it yet. Blood purifier. I'll make it if you bring me a Xanderuk, a Brock flower, and two handfuls of nightshade berries. It will cost 300 bucks a dose. Uh, okay. Healing powder, antidote, stimulator. What is this? I'll make it if you bring me an empty great, an empty great salt lake. What? What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I'll make it if you bring me an empty great salt lake, a Xander root, and a Brock flower. It costs two hundred fifty bucks a dose. What the fuck? Where do I get an empty great salt lake? What the hell is that supposed to be? <laughs> There's no way he means he, it's supposed to be a great salt lake. I don't think there is a great salt lake item in this mod at all. So I don't, I don't think that's what he meant, but I don't know what he meant at all. I remember this being the worst translated town of the entire mod originally, though. If it's empty, is it really a lake? It's just a bunch of salt now. <laughs> no, exactly. All right, well, let's change the subject. Let's do something else. About the healthcare in the city. What do you want to talk about? About the sanitary conditions of the city. What are they now? Can you tell? What can I tell? What can I say? I think is what he means. What can I say? Every city of the wastelands has problems with health care, but the people manage to deal with them somehow, so most of them survive. What's happening in Salt Lake is complicated. On the one hand, the nature has given us a lot of water and wonderful vulcus plant. On the other, we're afraid to even approach the Great Salt Lake because of the danger of intoxication and irradiation. Intoxication? Okay. In addition, the Nuka Cola factory obviously obviously adds to the problem. A complicated case. Okay, maybe you can clarify something on the subject. How can you live in such a humid and smelly climate? Perhaps visitors have respiratory problems. Well, that's right. One need to get one needs to get used to local conditions, but the body adapts over time. Most importantly, do not stick your nose where it doesn't belong, and where it does not, and where does it belong? Where doesn't it belong? In the north, there is a large radioactive area, a real cemetery. That is a part of the Salt Lake City ag agglomer agglomeration. Agglomer th that is that was the part of the Salt Lake City agglomeration in which a nuclear bombs were dropped during the war. Ooh, this translation. Periodically, rains wash out the radioactive dirt into the Great Salt Lake. Fortunately, we were lucky with the climate. How so? Our landscape prevents most of the dangers. There are no harsh winds like in the deserts, and no fumes from heat. In addition, in local conditions, one plant has mutated. The water lily. It grows on the banks of the Great Salt Lake. In other cities, it is just a plant, but this one gives you a special kind of nutritious nuts. Oh, that's why on the way here I saw people constantly chewing something. Well, those are vocus nuts. They are very dense. You have to chew them hard, otherwise the effect will be small. What is the effect exactly? Uh, these nuts remove radioactive elements from the body. Of course, this does not happen immediately. Radiation is excreted with sweat and urine during the day. The effect is not very strong, but if you use Vocus irregularly, the exposure level will come back to normal. Yeah, more or less. Sounds like a very useful plant. Where, where to find it? You can buy nuts from me or in the Tin Angel, and if you want to collect them yourself, I suggest you to wander through uninhabited areas with a lot of dirty water. Vocus grows in rather unpleasant conditions. Just keep in mind that it ripens twice a year, in spring and fall. At those times of the year, there are buckets of them laying on the shelves. Okay, thank you for telling me this. Okay, right, cool. Is this anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay, cool. Bye. Can I open your door back here? Nope. 
I guess this character calls a stim pack a stimulator, maybe. Although he also calls a hypodermic syringe a great salt lake too, <laughs> it's true. Okay, okay, that's fair enough. I hadn't actually counted any stim packs I had, so let me see how many stim packs I have right now. I have 12. If I tell him to make a stimulator, hold on. Make one dose. And do I have thir uh, 13 stim packs? Yes, I have. Okay, okay. That's a stim pack. Oh my god, this character needs so much work. Oh my god, I can't believe that. <laughs> a stimulator is, is actually a stim pack, and the Great Salt Lake is actually a, a, a hypodermic needle. Oh my god. <laughs> One of these, or empty syringe rather, is what it would be. Not a hypodermic needle, uh, but an empty syringe. That is so irritating. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, good to know that that is what it's supposed to be. So let's go see if we can get in the back here and steal his stuff. It's locked. Lockpick. Tack it. Not strong enough. And this. Yep, still not strong enough. So I can't. It seems like it's almost impossible to actually get my my strength up a point, except through, um, except through leveling up, leveling up enough to get that uh, that perk. It's kind of irritating, but okay. Let's see what this lady has to say. Don't bother me. That's all she has to say. That and get away from there. Oh no! Don't take my money now. Okay, whatever. Bitch, <laughs> take her shit anyway. <laughs> uh, but the rest of the town, of course, hates me. Oh my God, he just murdered the guy in front of him. <laughs> That's a bad cop, bad cop. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> bad cop. Soap scraps. Soap scraps, an aromatic soap from the company Pretty and Glamour with bite marks. Judging by the imprints of teeth, it was bit by an adult. All right. Remember how we started? Now it's all come to deaths. Steal your beer. No, you can't steal his beer. He hates you so much for stealing his beer. He will murder you for stealing his beer. Yes, he will. Can, I can't stand right here on the rug for reals. Wow. There we go. I stole this beer. Let's talk to this guy. Don't bother me. Okay. How about, can I loot your thing here? No. I don't want to kill these people and see what they're hiding, but they probably are. It's probably all empty anyway. Probably steal this guy's stuff and sell it probably. So let's take a second and just <laughs> No <laughs> That's not going anywhere, of course. There's an invisible person standing there, it'd be roof free to stand there too. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> Alright, um Yeah, this is a pretty big town. The quests still don't make a lot of sense, but at least the dialogue makes a little more sense than the last time I played this. Oh, the dogs are going to be rough. They're going to be kind of rough to handle here. go there you go oops still have quite a ways to go for the next level all right we'll come back next week we'll clear out this area 
we'll do some more quests in this area. But I think this is probably a good spot to give it a save. Quick save and save it in the start here slot as usual. Call it a night here.